What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So when a new biking season is starting, it's time for a new bike day, yay! No, I wish actually. I need to make a few changes on my bike on my Cannondale Trail 6 because I need new tires and new pedals. So without further ado, let's get to work. First, I'm gonna start with the tires because I'm pretty sure this will take me the most of the time and I don't know if I should show you or not. Okay, maybe I'll show you. My tires are in pretty bad conditions. Like, let me show you. See? And that's not the worst part. Let me show you the rear wheel. Uh, oh my God. There is not grip at all. But yeah, I should have changed them quite a long time ago. But since I was training just at my local spot, you know, I postponed it until today. The tires I have now are Schwalbe Rocket Rig and they are pretty good, but from now on, I'm gonna try and ride this Maxxis Icon for my 27.5 wheels. These tires are made for cross country slash trail riding and they are pretty durable and grippy on road and on off road. And actually that's why I was so interested in them because I usually use this bike on off-road, but I also use it for commuting, so I was looking for something durable on both type, types of terrain. So yeah, that's why I got this. So let's put this on, shall we? And by the way, I have to mention something, and I'm kind of quite embarrassed to say it, but I have never changed a tire before. This is my very first time, so wish me luck, and we are learning together today. First, let's flip the bike around. There we go, and then I'm gonna take off the front wheel first. There we go. Now let's de-inflate the tire. It's time to get the tire off and put the new one, and I'm using tire levers. Let me see if I can do it okay there we go I'm afraid not to pinch the tube you know Let's get the tube out now. All right, we have one wheel and one old tire. Let's put a new one. Now I'm gonna inflate the tube to give it a little shape. I think that's all right. Now I have the inner tube and the new tire and I'm gonna put the inner tube inside the new tire. All right, the inner tube is in, and now let's place the tire on the wheel. One tip that I have learned is that you should have a bottle of soapy water and spread it along the side of the bead so the bead can settle evenly. All right, the tire is on, so now let's get a pump. I only got a mini pump, so this might take a while. have the new tire and now let's put the wheel back on the bike. First wheel is done so now let's get to the rear wheel. Alright now it's time to change the rear wheel and for that of course because we have to take the wheel off I have to change the gears to my lowest one. There we go, and now, of course, we have to repeat the process. Out with the old, and in with the new. 
So guys, the new tires are on the bike and now we have to change the pedals. The pedals I've got are from XLC components and they are made from nylon with metal pins and I know they spin pretty good as well, which I know it's an important factor. So why I chose nylon over aluminium? Because of the weight, of course and uh, they look pretty grippy i really want to test these ones out and another embarrassing thing to say wow this video is all about embarrassing things about me uh yeah until today i used only plastic pedals like all plastic even the pins yeah i know so these ones i'm pretty sure will make a huge difference and uh yeah let's put this on We learned something new today and that's super exciting because you know it's always exciting when you learn new things actually i'm gonna film a separate video where i'm gonna test the tires and the pedals properly so stay tuned for that but yeah until then i think the bike looks so sick i'm so happy and cannot wait to shred it this season and hope you guys enjoyed this video as well thank you guys so much for watching i see you next time don't forget stay active